Okay, well, while the oven is still heating, the first order of business is to make the Asian pesto. So, let's get going. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to add some fresh basil leaves to the blender. About a cup, give or take. I'm going to be doing a lot of wings today, so I have to do a lot of basil, okay? So there we go. In with the basil, okay? Then mint, okay? Nice handful of mint, okay? And to that, a nice handful of cilantro. Three of my favorite, favorite herbs. Okay, there we go. Want to get these broken down quick, okay? In with some olive oil, okay, for some moisture, okay? On top of the olive oil, freshly squeezed lime juice, okay? Fish sauce, and some rice vinegar, okay? This is the liquid we're going to need to get this stuff moving. There we go. All right. Step number one with the pesto is done. Next step, I'm going to add some molasses. Roughly about two tablespoons. I'm not going to use the measuring spoons. I can wing it, okay? You can use palm sugar, you can use brown sugar, you can use white sugar. I like using the molasses because it makes a nice sticky coat for the wings, okay? I'm going to add some powdered kaffir lime leaves, okay? And I'm going to blend these, okay? Alright, okay, step two of the pesto. And oh my god, it's already smelling delicious. Okay, now, to that, I am going to add some freshly grated lemongrass. One to two tablespoons. This is freshly chopped root. Adds wonderful flavor and wonderful aroma. Okay. I'm also going to add some ginger. You could use ginger. You can use galangal. You could use a little of each and even a little turmeric, but I didn't have any turmeric. But we're going to do this, okay? And we're going to pulse this down. I happen to like doing the pesto in stages. Now, I'm going to be adding garlic, okay? As much garlic as you think you can handle, starting with about four cloves, maybe eight. Um, I used a little bit more than that. And here is two jalapeno peppers, okay, chopped, and four Thai bird chilies chopped with the seeds. That's for the spice, okay? And I'm going to pulse that in. Now, you can use shallot or regular red onion. Today, I'm using regular red onion. I'll have the recipe in the description box, so don't worry about that. So, here it is, the regular red onion, okay? And some cashew nuts, okay? You could use candle nuts, kukui nuts, okay? This is going to lend some creaminess, okay? And I'm going to blend this together. Oh, God, it smells fantastic. You can see that the pesto has changed color, okay? It's become more pesto-like. And in the spirit of that creamy and thick texture, I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of sesame tahina. I love this stuff. Oh, God, I love this stuff. All right. There's the sesame tahina. That's going to be the final product going in. And we're going to blend it. All right. There you can see the pesto has a nice creamy texture and there's no cream in it. And yes, this is a lot of pesto. This is a full pitcher, okay? Because I've got a lot of wings to do tonight. So we're going to move on to the next step and we're going to pesto up some wings and bake them. Okay. So now it's time to do a little production line, okay? Here are my chicken wings. Okay, right about here is about seven pounds. And actually today, 
I need to do about 20 pounds. That's why I made so much pesto. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll each wing, okay, into some flour, okay, and then I'm going to roll it in my pesto. Okay, you see how it makes it stick? Okay, see how it makes it stick? Okay. It's mad, dude. It's just mad. And I turn on the faucet here that you'll hear it in the background so I can rinse off my finger, okay? And rinse my fingers off between each one. And I'll put a couple in the flour, okay? And I'll dredge them up, okay? And then into the pesto, okay? Roll that around. It sticks lovely. It sticks just lovely, okay? I'll get a little pesto in the flour, I know. I'm not gonna rinse my hands off at every turn. Okay, and then I get that wing coated. Okay, look at that. Can you see that? It just sticks to it like glue. Okay, just sticks to it like glue. Okay, and then when it cooks, the olive oil, everything's going to soften up and cook up that flour. It's not going to have a floury taste at all. All right. See? Look at that. There we go. Pesto glue. Okay, now I'll rinse my hands off here. Get a few more. Okay. Get them all floured up. Get a little more of that pesto in there. there we go. Production line. That's what I say. Production line. All right. There's another wing. Okay. And this is going to bake on, it's going to get nice and crispy, these are going to be absolutely delicious. All right. This isn't a thin coat, okay? This pesto is really, really thick, okay? So this isn't a thin coating going on here. And I'll still have enough to baste on if I even need to, okay? And I've got to do about 20 pounds of this today, okay? Here we go, a couple more, okay? Get them floured up, and I'm just going to keep going just like this, okay? Who doesn't love chicken wings? But i tell you what, i got to ring my bell, man, because I'll tell you what, I make better wings than Wing Street, Wing Stop. They just, all that run-of-the-mill stuff, I hate run-of-the-mill. Us as foodies, we think outside the box, okay? And that's what I like to be, is outside the box. All right, here we go. Get that rolled in there. This is fun time for kids too. Okay. Here we go. Rolled in that pesto, the nuts, the pepper, the cilantro. Ah, man, look at that. Like glue sticking to my fingers. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I might even be able to make a little room. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, one more on each line. Here we go. All right, here we go. Get them floured up again. Another batch, floured up. All right. Get that all pestoed up. I love pesto. Who doesn't love pesto, man? Come on. Who doesn't love pesto? Yeah. All right, here we go. That puppy all pestoed up. start on another sheet. All right, there's my second sheet. I'm going to get some more wing okay. into the flour. I'm going to get them dusted up. Okay. Okay. You can do a light dusting, you can do a heavy dusting. Okay. Doesn't matter. The flour 
makes the pesto stick like glue. All right, roll it around. There we go. Pesto's nice and warm. There we go. And yes, this is time consuming doing it this way, but when it's all said and done for, it's extremely delicious, well worth it, okay? I mean, look at the way that pesto sticks, okay, okay? So, is it worth it? Oh, yeah, man, it's worth it. These wings are gonna be delicious, and not like any wing that you get at Wing Stop, Wing Street, Wing This, Wing That, okay? Make your own, come up with combinations the way I do, and you will be so happy you did, okay? Okay guys, here it goes. Okay. Two non-stick sheets going on the top level in the oven. Make a little room. Ah, there we go. Okay, so those two trays are going in there. Okay, the oven is set currently right now at 400 degrees. These are going to go in here for about 20 to 25 minutes and then I'm going to turn them over and cook them on the other side. So stay tuned. Okay, so the wings have been cooking at 400 for about 25 minutes, and now I'm going to turn them over. Oh my god, that pesto is just sticking to them. They've caramelized, and I'm just going to turn them over. Yeah, they stuck just a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. Look at that caramelization. Okay, look at that. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That comes from the sugar. Okay. Oh. That comes from the molasses. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what? I'm going to have to use a fork as well as the tongs to get them up. There we go. Oh yeah. So, here we go. Turn it over. Nice and caramelized. Nice and caramelized. And that's what this recipe is designed to do. Because the sugar from the molasses, that's the sweet part. There's also the savory and the heat. Okay. There we go. Oh my God. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. These are going to be so tasty. So crunchy. Oh my God. Can't wait. Can't wait. And this burnt on brown stuff, these are non-stick pans. And I'll scrape that stuff off and I'll eat that tonight. Yeah, uh, that one broke, but that's okay. It's going to be good. Oh my. Oh, there it is. Oh my. So I'm going to continue flipping these over and then I'll probably add a little more pesto to them and I'll continue cooking them at 400. Okay guys, there you have it. My baked Southeast Asian inspired chicken wings with the flavors of Thailand, Malaysia, Cambodia, Vietnam. This lovely Asian pesto, okay, lovely caramelizations you can see here.